Tonight I return to Jamie Oliver and his Caroline, which I've never heard of. I'm going to take a guess, is it some sort of spinach thing? It's got a sort of green tinge. Let's discover. Onion and coconut cooking paste with coriander, chilli and fenugreek. So no, it's not spinach. I think sag is spinach. Spinach. Red onion, 25%. Water. Ginger puree. Rapeseed oil. White wine vinegar. Desiccated coconut, coconut 7%. Garlic puree, coriander leaf 5%, so that's a lot still, still quite a lot of percentages here. Green chilli puree, 2%, green turmeric, chilli powder, mustard seeds, concentrated lemon juice, salt, fenugreek seeds, curry leaf, lime zest, so that's a lot again. This was £2 out of Tesco, and I also found how to find the rest of the info, the recipe and stuff. You see, you peel this, you see. How to use. So, let's see the, the 100 grams. I've come up with a new thing, the idea. I'll change that to 100%. Is that a good idea? Energy, 741kg. Sounds quite a lot, but I don't really know, to be honest. Fat, 15.2 grams, which is 15.2%. Which is a lot, an awful lot, is it not? Oh no, the saturates, that's what I usually go by. 5.1 grams, 5.1%. Sugars. 2.8% so that's not too bad by the looks to me. Uh, let's see how this goes in. I'll do this in a minute. I'm going to have a cough. Jamie's take on a Caroline style curry paste. Fresh and fragrant with coconut and green chilies and lime. I'm guessing this is a Thai thing, I don't know. Nothing hits a spot quite like a good curry and using a beautifully spiced paste to kickstart your cooking is an easy shortcut to big flavour. Whether you're going for meat, fish or veggies, this little jar of joy will definitely bring a smile to your face. Friday night, fake away, let's get it on. Jamie O. That sounds the exact same as that was on the korma. This was £2 out of Tesco. And once it's open, I've got six weeks, which is great. And it's got four servings, which is great. And I really enjoyed the korma, so it was really top quality. And I got another one while I was there. I think there was another one as well, which I've not got yet. I think that was the hot one, the Madras. I'm looking forward to this. So I'll give it a quick taste. See this smell? Not really a strong smell there. Yeah, it does seem like quality. It's quite, it's quite sp spicy. It's quite hot. It takes a few seconds for the heat. What's it? Yeah, it's medium. Yeah, I don't know really. I'm I don't think I've tasted anything like this before. It's definitely got a kick. Just peeling in here to see what they say. It's quite hard to read this because it's so light. It says by adding tomatoes, passata, or coconut. I'm going to try tomatoes. I've got a, I've got a carton of tomatoes. The other thing that's interesting, it says 
try it with a splash of stock to make your sauce because to me these feel like enough you don't need to add stock but if you say add stock maybe the more flavors and more flavors the merrier is the is the idea but I'm just going to try it on its own for this uh, my Asda bamboo scales um, They, they don't work. They, they're broke. It says they were shipped in May to this year, and it's December, and they're broke. Maybe that's why he was going for three pound. Maybe they'll try. Maybe they get too many toys tons or something. So I'm back to my old ones again. And I'm just, I'm about to do the tear. And I've done the wrong thing. Yeah, there we go. 180 divided by 4. 4? 45? Yeah, 45. 45 grams. Yeah, this is pretty hot, this thing. Looks like two spoonfuls. It was quite nice though. What I've tasted so far. Just, yeah, and I'll do it. I'll give it a bit more because I, I think that said two grams to it. Okay, there we go. Usually I would make my the sauce while it's cooking, but I'm just doing it just to keep the noise down and that. I've got Italian chopped tomatoes. Here. These things were delicious. I tried some the other day and it made me. It reminded me of what I think tomato juice is going to taste like. I'm not. I'm not sure whether tomato juice does, but if you know what I mean, just really fresh and yeah. I think that'll do. I may add a bit more just because the tomatoes are so nice. I think I prefer this from Posata or or a phase I'm going through at the moment. I think I would prefer organic but I got a new type of mince th turkey thigh mince. Nigella Lawson says thigh chicken thigh mince is nicer than any other part. Probably because it's fatty. Here a hundred percent. Fats saturates two two and a half percent. That's not too bad. I think. Chicken man. Excellent. It's a nice package, so it's thinner, it feels easier to, I don't know, you know, because they're going all green and all that, they're using less and less plastic. I think I've caught done to something that I want to really try and oil my meat to, uh, sort of defra, it becomes tender. Could be talking rubbish, but... So, and I've, I would prefer to use a spray, I'll probably use this, it's only one kcal per spray, sunflower oil, four, five, six, I used some last night and uh, I think I used too much actually, it was a, my meal was a bit oily but it was still nice. Yeah, with the paste I've got six weeks to finish that off, so it's really good value in that way. I don't need to freeze that. Here's some onions. 
some sliced bit. Iceland sweet corn, I think they were a pound. Which was good value. Yeah, a lot of them have put their mixed veg back up to around about the pound or even a bit more. I think farm foods are still holding out at 69 pence, but most of them are not. That looks like a lot, I'm going to wait. 428 grams. So. That's about the same as usual then. Give my sauce a taste. Yeah, it's really hot. I would call this a hot. Jelly bit, it's really quality. I don't know what I'm tasting, really. Maybe it's a coriander or something, but... Uh, yeah. Jimmy Oliver's stuff is really worth tasting, it seems. It seems to be a cut above everything I've tasted so far. And you've got six weeks to finish it off. So even though it's two pounds, you're, you're really 50 pence a person. Okay. Hi, five minutes and then I'll check it. I'm going for seven, but I'll, I'll start at five to check it. Let's see what else it says. I think it'll say the same as it did in the corner, mostly. It's just more about the nutrition. Yeah, it's just telling you can use it to marinate things or even use it in a toasty. Probably the same instructions for the four of them. I'll just check, see how things are going. This is just a check. Nothing will change here. I don't think. I can, I can smell the turkey thigh here anyway. Yeah, it looks nice. Another two minutes just to make sure the carrots. It's high for two minutes, one kilowatt. Still get that taste. I mean, it's nice. This will possibly be the nicest I've tasted. I don't really know what it is that I'm tasting. Maybe it's coriander because it's something I've not really noticed before. And yeah, I even though it's it's pretty hot in my tongue, I'm not there's no tears, there's no runny nose yet. Although I do worry, do wonder if I, I might struggle to eat it. We'll see. Okay, time's up. Of course all my stuff is frozen, so maybe I should oil it when it's defrosted, but I just haven't got the time, you know, or the patience, I should say. Yeah, well, it's pretty nice anyway, there's still a bit of oil around a bit, but it's not too bad. As long as everything's cooked, it's all I'm bothered about. Time to add my paste then. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this, as long as I can cope with the heat. Yeah, this, these Jamie Oliver things, it's like the Beatles and everybody else. His range, so far anyway. I mean, the Waitrose Korma, I like that one. But it, this just seems so classy. Um, 
Maybe it's because I've never sort of tasted these sort of things before, but just another class. I'll do five minutes at low. Five minutes at 400 watts. It looks like I might need more paste in there. I'm gonna gonna add a bit more tomato. Mainly because I don't I don't want the tomatoes to waste really, but I could probably drink that on its own. It tastes fantastic. Yeah, that's a nice mush. Not too watery. Okay, four, five minutes at all. 400 watts. Where are you? There. Five. Is up. Five minutes. Yeah, these new, these new little, this little pot that I got, I got a pack of three different sizes. They're really good because they, they handle heat better because they're thicker and they seem a better non-slip and uh, yeah I don't even need to use my tongs that I bought. So I don't know if I've added the right amount of tomato in that but still looks pretty good to me. That was a bit hot. I'll leave it to stand. Taste time. It looks as if it needs more liquid. I think that's the first time that's happened to me. When I need more liquid rather than want too much. Still pretty hot. The turkey thighs has got a lot of its own flavour, which maybe, maybe you don't want. I don't know. <coughs> well, I'm still getting the heat. Just sort of after kick, but it's it's nice. I don't know. Feels like I've just lost a bit of the flavour, but I always say that. Yeah, it's, it's real quality. I don't think I'm doing it justice because uh, it doesn't feel as if my corn's fully cooked, but and then with the turkey, turkey thigh, it's got a lot of its own flavour. I've probably not put enough liquid in or whatever uh, but definitely try it yeah I mean it's it's quality it's class tasting it on, on, on its own was a uh, was more impressive or whatever but it's definite quality Yeah, I'll definitely be trying that again. <coughs> Don't know what it is, it must be the coriander or something. Because I've never tasted whatever it is that's doing the kick. But, eh, uh, yeah, definitely try it. I mean, I'm, I don't think I've done it justice, but I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. And that'll probably go up over time. Okay, yeah, it's really quality. It's got a lot of heat on my tongue and on my throat, but I'm not, my nose isn't running or anything. So, uh, I suppose it is a medium in the true sense. But the Jamie Oliver 
range seems to be class. I've still got to try another two. I've tried two so far and they've both been top quality. Probably the best quality that I've tasted. So yeah I'll give it a thumbs up. I'll give this an 8 out of 10 at the moment. That will probably increase over time. Probably won't go down. Good stuff Jamie.